On Thursday, Governor Dave Omahi welcomed the first two flights at the 36 billion naira airport at Onweke. The state government has offered indigents of the state free two weekly flights from Lagos and Abuja for the next four weeks. Bamidili Ajayi tells us more in this report. The Boye is among the six states created by the Southern Abacha Military Administration in 1996. It was carved out from Old Anambra Enugu State from the west, Imo and Abia from the eastern part of the southeast geopolitical zone. The state has witnessed steady political progression since the return of democracy in 1999. To many, the emergence of Governor Dave Umar in 2015 gave transformational impetus to the state in terms of social, economic and infrastructure development across the three senatorial zones of the state. Among those features that are synonymous with this administration are the neatly laid road, 24 flyover bridges that connect various parts of the state, street lights, road media beautification and construction of one of the best modern universities among others. The latest is the newly constructed Muhammad Buhari International Passenger and Cargo Airport on Reiki, 36 billion Naira. On the 27th of April 2023, the first opening of the present Muhammad Buhari International Airport for commercial use took place. It was a day of pomp and circumstances that the people eagerly awaited the arrival of the first airplane to land at the airport. Governor Jeff Umayi and his team are on hand to receive the first flight. For what he has done. Two 80 seater passenger jet from Lagos and Abuja descended on the concrete runway of the airport to a tremendous applause from the enthusiastic crowd. The governor received the pilot, cabin crew, and the passengers with excitement. <laughs> People could not hide their joy at being part of history. If you know where Boy State is coming from, we used to be the most backward of all the Igbo. And one is very happy that uh, Governor Dave Umahi conceived this project, started it, and finished it. They spoke on the socioeconomic importance of an international passenger and cargo airport in a state whose indigenous are predominantly farmers. We have products. You hear people talk about bakaliki rice, which is, uh, I, I mean, even before I was born, bakaliki rice has become a household uh, name in Nigeria. There are plans to export it beyond just selling it within Nigeria. Both neighboring states and neighboring states like uh, Cross River, like uh, Abia State, you know, you know, we can now go in and come out, come back as we as we we need. So it's a project that uh, will enhance the economic uh, viability of this uh, state. We contribute to employment and so on. Martin Energy commended the governor's desire to deliver what he described as a dream project to the people of our state. The governor commended the support extended to the state by President Muhammadu Buhari in ensuring the project was delivered in record time. As the chairman of Southeast Government Forum, I was going to meet my father and friends, taking the leaders of Southeast to beg for money to renovate it. A lot of our brothers and sisters, they were querying, why should we be building a port? We should take the money and renovate Enugu. If you say Buhari is not good for you, Buhari is good for me. Buhari is good for our state. And so we love him and we thank him for the success of this report. Governor Omai, who disclosed that the project got more than 36 billion naira, acknowledged the sacrifice of members of the state House of assembly who forfeited about three years of constituency project fought 
for the airport to be put to bed. And when we had to go and borrow 10 billion to buy the equipment, he summoned the House of Assembly from their recess. And not only that they approved it, they also donated their constituency projects money, you know, three years. Cargo airports are considered as trade facilitators that contribute to global economic development and create millions of jobs. The global economy depends on the ability to deliver high quality products at competitive prices to consumers worldwide. This President Mohamed Buhari International Airport will enhance trade, investment and easy evacuation of farm produce to different. Bamidele Ajayi, TVC News, Abakaliki. Julie, from the class of this governor, that's uh, from class um, 2015. 2018, 2015, mm -hmm. that will be going yes. this month. I we <coughs> must commend Dave Omahi yes. as one of the outstanding shining lights of that 2015, the class of governors that will be living in the next one month, exactly one month now. Yes. Dave Omahi. He is one of the stars. No doubt about it. See, there is no story that you can tell about a boy that will capture what is on ground unless you go there. Mm. I I was in a boy for three days. <laughs> I can't believe what I saw. To go and see yourself. I, I can't believe what I saw. Yes. As I, I seen the video. I went inside that terminal building. There is no terminal building in Nigeria today as beautiful as the one in the boy. We don't have seen this colorful. I said there's no one. No it's one. colorful. I, I go through an international airport now, almost see, three, three months. This, it, it does roads. Its roads are largely concrete based. And look at the thickness of that concrete. I was driving, you know, through um, um, inner, inner uh, city roads, communities linking one another. Concrete. Look at it. Villages. So. Hmm. Villages, concrete. Look at the structure. So they will last. So mm -hmm. they, will, they will definitely last. Those roads will last. They are designed to last. You know? Reinforced roads. Mm -hmm. Concrete. And the runway is also concrete. Not no, asphalt. Not asphalt. It's concrete. Yeah, the, I don't, that's the man they just showed is the... Um, Governor elect. elect. Yes. Frankly, the, the, the Speaker of the House of um, Assembly. Yes. Frankly, the man has a lot of work to do. He has a lot of work to do because this man has clearly um, given him um, a big task to execute. There is no to maintain the infrastructure, to maintain what uh, he has done mm. to maintain what this governor has done is not uh, going to be easy to sustain the the level of work you need to visit the uh, federal university of health sciences the dev uh, uh, Omahi federal university of health sciences and he spent to, the better part of eight it. years. It was it is not the vocal type. No, you didn't no. know what was happening. Oh no, you need to the best overhead bridges. The best overhead bridges are the most colorful are in a boy state. I see uh, governors do overhead bridges. This one will do it and put aluminium cladding throughout. Aluminium cladding of different colors. You know, if you are going uh, uh, a lot of our bridges here. In Lagos, there's no aluminum cladding. Mm. This one would do fly over and put aluminum cladding of different colors. It would be so colorful. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. You see, mm. there are governors and there are governors. I'm telling you. This man, I've not met him. Um, I've never interviewed him. When I was coming down from the aircraft, he shook my hand. That's all that I've seen of him. Mm. Even during this period, I didn't see him. I just did my work and went away. Hmm. Hmm. 
Then GKB, when you look at um, the same class of 2015 and to 2023, you want to do a comparative analysis. It's the same governor, uh, the same southeast that we have the likes of um, Ikwazu. Because I'm not, we you know, I'm not uh, even, I can't even hold, I can't even hold back. We when you names? take Humayi and his success story compared to Ipazu. <laughs> well, you have to understand some things. These people rejected him even at the senatorial election. <laughs> most of, <laughs> I mean, most of, most of the time, uh, like the president-elect said, we've been governed by people who are reluctant to come to power or pretend to be reluctant. So they were never really prepared to do the job. It's obvious that David Mahi came prepared. Because you have to understand that boy within the context of Southeast politics, or even the tribal connotation, mm -hmm. and the uh, tribal uh, nuances of what Yabuhi represents. And stigmatization. The, I don't want to use that word. I'm running away from that word if I can. No, it's, 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 it's always been seen it's as, the, the, as the, the, they are the backwaters. Yes, yes the backwaters. Of the they are seen as the backwaters. Yes. They the call them the bush people. Mm, yes, you know, yes. They, are, they have uh, a unique language. No, it's still Yibo. The dialect is a little bit rough. But it's closer to the Yiri dialect, which many consider to be the original Igbo dialect before it became the commercial one that. Because people can even tell you there are certain people speaking Igbo now that 200 years ago they have a distinct. But that's the story for another day. What he had done was we wanted to do what we expect. Because in every zone, there will be what they call the small states. But they have a very small landmass. They have a very small federal government allocation. And they have it in every state. We have it here in the southwest. And that will be Ekiti. They have it in the south-south. That will be Bayasa. And they have it all over. States that are considered the, the dregs of that particular zone. What he had done or to present a parameter of development that everybody else will have to follow. Because you must understand, it's one thing to put on infrastructure. It's another thing to put it up in such a way that the Americans will call in your face. Yeah. That I'm not only doing this, just I'm doing much. it with class. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people will just put up a airport. A lot of people will build roads. So but you must understand that. Good things. It's like a former government in Lagos where people are complaining about flowers. And then you realize the fact that it cannot all be concrete. Sometimes there must yes. be balance yes, yes. between nature and the infrastructure we are looking for. And that's what he has achieved silently, by the way, mm -hmm. in eight years. Because the first time you heard of Umayi was the end of 2018. He opened about 47 roads, all concrete. Mm -hmm. First time in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So it's not 47 roads and two of them are concrete. It's 47 roads, all concrete. I think he's an architect. That means he has made, he has made up his mind this is the quality civil I want for my people. Civil engineer, oh, sorry. That this is the quality I want for my people, and this is the quality I'm going to give them. And because I don't mention it's this. to open at the airport. Look at, look at all the security gadgets. Everything. People are passing through the security screening, and he has installed those security gadgets ready, you know, but, for but, operations. But, but the key the airport mm. is a futuristic one. Yeah. He's because already imagining that airport will now. become. The hope. A melting pot, the hope, you yeah. know, for business, and that it will be the airport because mm. this airport they can handle this terminal building can handle the kind of uh, uh, deluge of passengers mm. that Lagos and Abuja Spe experience. Still over. After some you know, time, the, the likes of NCA they will so upgrade big. it to they will upgrade it to an uh, international airport. Because I don't see what other this one this one has what you don't have is yes, is yes. Portaco not an uh, international airport. Yes. Go to Portaco airport. Yes, I've, I've passed there. Uh -huh. So I, what's, what's this the one is far more beautiful than we see airport people airport. opening their airport they will just show us the wrong way yeah. and the plane will just come down the After wrong that, way. No, That's no the story end of again. the thing. Mm. Nobody will take us in. And mm. Because the they cannot they cannot they cannot to take you in. <laughs> because there's nothing inside. That's some airport that were commissioned till now. We don't even hear of anything again. That's no. the end of the show. And once no, the, one was commissioned the, the plane military landed. plane. Yeah. Military plane. Landed. Just, uh, well, that is but it. this one, two passenger planes but landed. And I, is, I was in one of them. So you flew smaller. from from Lagos. Uh, from Lagos. Mm. I was in one of them. Mm. Of this uh, the same 
Eighty uh, this so. Well, sometimes you just have to know that some people came into governance. Okay. It's going well, to make a difference. Well, we issue with judge um, the Everybody. class of. The 2015 to 2023, mm -hmm. and with time we start talking about them, maybe before they leave or after they might have left office. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. It is another day and another tale of the proverbial bush meat catching the hunter. A legal couple, now in police custody, took matters into their own hands when mm -hmm. they kidnapped themselves and were demanding a five million naira ransom. According to Lagos State Police spokesperson Benjamin Hundein, the couple, a 53-year-old technician and wife, a 48-year-old masseur and bone suitor, were arrested after a family member reported the purported kidnap. He said the couple who admitted to the crime said they planned the self-kidnap with the hope of raising 3 million naira to buy back their house in the Baidagri area of Lagos State. Jide, this is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, um, these things happen, though. This is happen. As I was reading their story, I saw another case in Kano. Uh, but this one's worse. You know, the complaint of this man is that he has relations who are well-to-do, some of them based abroad, but that if he asks for money, to buy that, uh, to buy back that, uh, that house, to buy back the house, they will not um, give him. Decided so to. because he felt that they would not give him, he then decided to stage his no. own kidnap. And the wife believing that once they sent a message to them that they had been kidnapped, those ones abroad and those of them who are here, those stingy uh, relatives. Mm we fork out the money. That was what he was thinking. But you said you were kidnapped, but you are still resident in your house. Mm -hmm. So in the end, <laughs> they reported them to That's the police. Stupidity. Yes, and um, they were, they were uh, arrested. And according to the police, this couple account for, in terms of their uh, income, monthly income, is in the range of 490,000 per they're, month. They're not doing so, bad. They are not doing bad. So, so the question to ask is, why can't they raise money through this? Just make some what you earn. And hopefully you get there someday. But you prefer to con people. So they, they eventually go to jail unless... Um, the judiciary is lenient because every state has um, its laws governing kidnapping. Kidnap. Mm. So they are not going to say that because it didn't really happen, you won't be punished. No, they, are going to be, they are going to be punished. It's just like somebody raising an extra alarm. You will make money. You will make money if you play the role of a whistleblower. But if you lied and you sent the security Force. agencies mm. on the white goose chase. Mm. The law also permits your punishment as a so-called or fake uh, whistleblower. So the couple are going to pay for, for their sins. Uh, hopefully others will learn from this, but this has been happening for some time. I know it, it still won't stop. Mm. DKB, this is a sign of... I, I, I would call this as a sign of poverty because when you look at what the income level did you reel out, Half a million for, for the country family in Nigeria. That's a lot of money. I, I don't think it will stop. I don't think so. But my fear is that it's going to become more rampant. Not only for the uh, kidnapping, is just the recent aspects. Don't forget that in the past, people have done similar things under similar guises for similar results. Because our people tend to believe that we react positively to negative news. That if somebody is sick, we don't really care. But if somebody died, we are willing to raise millions to solve that problem. I think once the law is applied at a level that will serve as a deterrent, we can move forward. But I don't think it's going to stop for anybody willing to do this again down the line. And that, to me, is a tragedy. Mm. You know, there's also this entitlement mentality. 
when I feel that, after all, my uncle is rich, he should be able to help me. Yeah. My aunt is rich, he should be able to help me. And we, in this part of the world, I don't know where we got that mentality mm -hmm. from. Yeah, just, just on your own. And everybody, people have their own issues. Yeah. That relation of yours, that that you, he also has his own problems that he's grappling with. There are many people who move around. They don't put their problems on their faces. Yes. But they are, way, they are, they are, they are somehow weighed down by, yeah. by their problems. Yeah, it's exactly. just that you don't, the, yeah. the way we respond to adversity is different. Yeah. Our capacity. Yes, the, our capacity to absorb ab adversity is different. Some, you will never know, you see them, they will come out, they dress well, they look fine, but they are going through a lot. So what to imagine, you know, somebody told me, he said, the, the day you give that person once, it's you that will keep coming to. That's and he will tell you that, oh, I don't have anywhere else to go. That's why I'm coming to you. Now, <laughs> that person that you are going to all the time, he also wants to help other people. But if you keep going to him, you also block the avenue That's for it. other people yeah. to, to, to be able to uh, uh, enjoy some of the wealth of that mm. person. But our people don't see like, oh, it's my brother. Why is he, why is he mm. not kind to me? Why is he? And some people, they will even set them up in business. <laughs> they they will mess it up and still go back. back to the same person. Mm. Mm. I don't understand. And some people feel that, for that fact that you see us on TV, that we're ah, that, that's, that's even ah, worse. Ah, Coming ah, to our inbox. Yes, there's very little no, talk about you, our experiences you, today. <laughs> you remember these kids? I don't know, I don't know that. Even people you see ah. on TV, some of those clothes are bought for them. They, you don't, don't even know. Wardrobe allowance. And I wardrobe allowance. Although they don't give me up. It's not as if they give me up. But then. But so that they don't think that those are caras that I wear. I actually let TVC or drop allowance. <laughs> you know? That is a category of TVC staff who get <laughs> it. <laughs> so, 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 remember that there is this kid of a guy uh, who was calling his brother abroad. That one was in the snow. Obviously, he was going to work. Mm. He was tired. And the guy now made the call to the brother abroad and said, hey, but I have decided what to do. He said, okay, fine. What do you want to do? He said, I want to start a petrol station. Hmm. Petrol station. <laughs> And he was like, are you sure? He said, yes, I, 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 there's a location in the bad that I like. Let me have the express. He said, how much will it cost? He said, brother, it will not cost much. Just about 300 million. And the man had to start reading courses on him. That I'm going to walk now in the snow. Mm. I have to put up my car to him for it to warm, to be warm enough. I have to clear my pathway. So or else I'll not be able to leave my house. I cannot rest because I have to go to work. In fact, sometimes I wish people who send people from Nigeria abroad. To, to live the lives mm. those people are living. Experience. Nobody will ask for, for them for a couple again. Because then you will, because I'm talking about those abroad because the pressure is so much mm. on family members who have left Nigeria. You know what? I know people who relocated just three months ago who are already regretting. Yes. Because the lifestyle was in Nigeria you will survive. Mm. Whatever they are, oh, unless mm. you unless you work, you, work up. <coughs> you mm. will not eat. People won't show you much. Mm. That's not mercy because the man you are they looking they for. You know, somebody told me, you know, our culture, you know, is so, so good. Yeah. You get to, to then you go to a man's house, you knock on his door. You eat, you eat you food. You open the door for yeah. you. You eat yes. good food. Good food. Madam will even give you, you take food away. by kneeling down while uh, giving it to you. If you try it over there, Without telling the person you are coming, mm. you do it the first time, the second time, it's going to... You are not going to, you are not to get access. Yes, well, yes, that was, 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 was going was. on. You didn't tell me you were coming. You didn't tell me you were coming. <laughs> and that's why we are going now in Nigeria <laughs> today. Because once people are still showing entitlement at this level, mm -hmm. imagine what they would do down the line. When, and it's not only family members. Even people you know over the internet. Mm. You've never met them before. And they still still making that level of attachment that a family member will have. Mm. The only way to do this, of course, is to find a way to make sure work is abundant. Mm. Or else, we are just going to keep on going. But there are still some people, even if work is available, they are too lazy to work. Too lazy. To even, too lazy. They don't want to work. They, will, they are even very choosy mm. about what to work. I know. Yeah. And there are some people like that. When we had crisis at Punch with uh, vendors in Ibadan, I called some of my cousins. 
the man told me to my face, he said, ah, but you want me to get now? I'm too famous, I'm too well known to be a vendor. He has no job. I said, look, you are going to be making about that time, 20 years ago. About 500 naira. Yeah, you put them, you give them a kiosk. Uh, I said, you will make a lot of money. You will be walking around. You are not walking around. You stay in one place. We we'll give you newspapers. Mm. Keep all the commission and all that. Ah, uh, no. I'm too You will believe that you diminish. Yeah, I said, you know who I am in this neighborhood. You know how important I am. It's jobless. <laughs> you are not important. You are jobless. I <laughs> jobless. All right. In a tragic turn of events that have left many in shock, Nigerians are feared to be among the dead as the number of victims linked to a suspected religious cult in Kenya rose to 95 on Wednesday. A taxi driver turned radical pastor of the Good News International Church, Paul McKinsey Ngale, has been arrested for encouraging his members to find God through starvation. The identities of the corpses recovered from mass graves in the 325 hectares, 800 acres bush around Shakahola Forest near the coastal town of Malinda have uh, been revealed. A Kenya Red Cross official, Asan Musa, who confirmed that 311 people, including 150 minors, have been reported missing in its support staff in Malinda hinted that not all the victims were Kenya, Kenyans. Did they? You know, this continent has all kinds of pastors. It is in our stores, first and foremost see themselves as Demigods. God's assistant. Mm. They see themselves as next to God. Mm. Where they derive this notion that they are superior to the ordinary man, I wish I understand. And it is so bad that pastors will be ordering church members around, do this, do that. Do this, do that. Vote for this, don't vote for that. If you vote for this, I, I, I will flog you. There was a pastor who said they will flog people if they voted for a particular political party yes. in this election. Yes. Because they really overreach themselves, are you, in mm. this election. Nigerian pastors totally overreach themselves. Honestly. And we have seen now that a good number of them do not hear from God at all. This one now, who told people to starve to death yes, to so that to they can go directly to God. Mm. What is the motivation? Mm. Except that... And people will be it. Except that for some of the people standing uh, um, behind lecterns mm. and preaching, some of them need to have their heads examined though. Mm. And they have daft followers. Daft followers. I mean, dumb very, followers. Uh, if, if people are not dumb, mm. how will a pastor tell you, go and start hitting grass? You know it happened in this continent. Mm. Ayo. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. And they came out, the video is there. They came out, they started Legend. consuming yeah. grass. Like herbivores. Mm. Like goats. Mm. Ah. You are not in the, uh, in the Maasai Mari... All those um, is there in get your words where we have plenty of animals yeah. in, uh, mm. in uh, Serengeti. In, uh, Serengeti. Serengeti. Where we have all those animals. Ha. So, do you remember the case? To fast till you fast until you, you, you die. die. Okay. The incompetence yeah, of the yeah. incompetence of security forces in our continent also manifested in Kenya because they had heard that this thing was happening, they didn't move fast. Hmm. By the time they moved in, we had already lost about 103 uh, officially confirmed dead. But eight, they saw eight of them who were still living, but they were already too weak and they eventually died. Hmm. They found eight alive. Some would have fasted now, over 40 days. Now, it, for, no, for some, it will be more than that. Mm. 
no food, nothing. No, it goes fast. fast. And the person who told the gullible and sheepish adherents to fast, was it to that? death, is, look at, the, 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 they arrested one of them, they provided one of them, is looking more robust, more, even healthier than some of us that, means it are, that are talking here. It's so he didn't join, he didn't join the his stupid uh, 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 followers in fasting to death. This is, this is, there is a need for people, we are in an age when people are using AI in a responsible manner. It's been preached. In our own case, on this continent, people are using religion to scam people, mm. to twist people's and heads. People are even reacting to it like zombies. Zombies. Okay, they are look, with their remember brains. what happened? Uh, remember what happened? I think sometime last year, mm. when one apparently crazed pastor in a kitty yes. told uh, people that they should pay, they should pay that, so that they would fly ticket, fly ticket, yeah, fly ticket. He took them to the bush. Bush. Three hundred and thirty. He collected money from mm. them. He said over three hundred thousand uh, each. Uh, yeah, he collected money. <laughs> he, he has the fly ticket mm. to heaven. To heaven. Which happens as, if he's, he, as if he's a, uh, he's a air traffic controller or um, mm. um, is the aviation controller. minister, God's aviation minister. In this continent, you know, you in, in, Af in Africa, countries like Kenya, very notorious, very notorious. for you, the kind of pastors Nigeria. that they have. Nigeria. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on, we'll get to Nigeria. <laughs> don't, uh, don't jump the gun. <laughs> Ghana. Mm. Should be our own pastors. Pastors raping uh, their church. In, in Ghana, a pastor in the uh, in front of his church. Or is it Ghana? We've got the language look like Ghana. Afri language. Africa, mm -hmm. In Africa, he brought a big uh, basin or what we call bath for people to understand. Then those women were walking right to the front of the church. They would sweep naked. themselves naked, sit inside that bath. And he was bathing for them. There was another one that got a uh, razor and was shape, shaving the pubic hair of women. In this continent, too, there's nothing that these people won't do to us. Mm -hmm. And these earlier than thou people, they also, they are, they are, they are counterparts in Nigeria, have now acquired the uh, political. Um, um not just what they do they do political prophecy that mm. usually doesn't come to pass mm. but they've now imagined themselves to be the political know-alls mm. that look the future of nigeria the direction that nigeria should go they are the ones who know and if church members don't follow them church members will be flogged uh, church members will be cursed church members will be uh, sworn at how do they escort? communicated? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. These people are overreaching themselves. These pastors, for example, deserve to be sent to a, a lifetime in jail. No, 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 you are for people who have died. No, you, no, you, are, you, are, very, you, are, you are, you are very kind. You should start to death. If, 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 start to if, death. That's my policy. You should be put. If I, 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 that one was see that one that was wearing white like mm. Jalabia. If I, if I, Even I, when they were asking questions, he didn't answer. He has not. But he has caused people to starve to death. Mm. Wicked people. God, gods of men. Mm. You call yourself my, men, men of God. You are not men of God. You are gods of men. Gods with the small letter G. For people example. with exaggerated impression of themselves yeah. that you go, you, you can hold the mic and just talk absolute rubbish on the pulpit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Work on people's psyche. Work on their manipulate people. No, 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 manipulate no, no, people. No, no. You have to understand the dynamics of Look at how many lives. Mm. Now the Red Cross is saying that 300 are missing. So potentially 300 people could die just by listening to Ooh. some crazed pastors somewhere. They didn't eat. This we have problem in this continent too. Serious problem. That's why we are backward. Why do you think it's a problem? Well, because because uh, by now, we, like you said, AI and all that, things are moving forward that people have access to. You can see it. Mm. You don't have to be in England or be US to know how people are living. Now they are replacing the stethoscope with AI, which means that by simply placing it on yourself, 
and tell you what's wrong with you. That's how far of that in Nigeria, the same person that needed to go to do this AI test mm. is the one going to church to learn to for solution for the first ask that... whether he can go. It is that a bad. decision that you can take on your own. Oh, you yeah. first go and meet a man who does not know his left from his right. Yeah. You go and ask him first. You to, you need validation. Mm. You need permission. Mm. You are in a very abusive relationship. Mm. Your pastor tells you, no, no, mm. no, uh, uh, divorce is not uh, mm. an option. Yes. Don't try it until you mm. end up a dead man. Yes, or a woman. <laughs> or a woman. Mm. I mean, these things happen. Yeah. Yes, I will see it every day. Our, our he said, no, no divorce. Mm -mm. Until that person is dead. Our and level of every day. Eh? Fits mm. assault every day. So, if you are real shepherds of people, how come people are going through it? And you have no knowledge of what is going on. Look at that celebrity uh, 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 singer it's, 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 that died the other day. Mm, yeah. mm. We have been reading about what the man, what the woman was going through, mm. and she was attending a church. Mm, yes. Nobody, but not, no, pursued, no effort was made to save her life. Yes, that if she had left the husband, they wouldn't have allowed her to be singing on the pulpit. That's what we that church. Saying, yes. Okay. So she was afraid that she can't leave that husband. And they continue to be that status. Yes. Now the guy is in jail. The guy is, is, is facing trial. Is in jail. Mm. Look at the testimonies that we are hearing. Christians should never be far away from one another. The church is supposed to even bring us as close to one another as possible, mm. to the extent that if you are feeling pain, even in your armpit, I would know because you you inform me. But if people are afraid to tell their pastor that, look, I'm in an abusive relationship, because you are already aware, you know what the pastor will tell you, you can predict that he will tell you mm. to remain there, then it's a problem. Mm. Mm. It's I a have, problem. Ojo is calling us from Oyo State. Thank you for joining us, Ojo. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yes, go ahead. My, my, my greetings to all, all of you there. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Concerning the issue of pastors, I want us to understand that these pastors are not real pastors, they are fake pastors. A lot of them are fake. Fake as and they, not use, they are not using God power, but they are using demonic power. So, all those people under them, we cannot blame them, but they are the bewitched that the pastors, that is why they don't have sense of their own. Mm. By God, they will still have uh, good pastors who are called of God, and they will not behave that way. So their action, when the world is coming to an end, different, different things will become. So they are fake person, so that is why they do it that way. We just pray that God should give our people understanding, and government should see how they can be able to bring out all these fake persons that are defrauding people. God bless you all. Mm, thanks. 311 people. Why are you shaving? Will be women's pubic hair. Or even touching it. Even a man, so men are your church. Oh, you yeah. didn't target their own. <laughs> it is women's pubic hair that you are shaving. Yeah. And that means there is something to and it. And there's a pastor who don't step, don't don't step on common floors. You have to put rug for yeah. them to yes, walk on. Yes, up. yes. And they have bouncers yes. as big and as houses. Are, yes. And they want you to go home and take the oil. And their followers mm -hmm. will have to bow down. Have to bow. We have we have them. We have to bow them. We have to worship them. We have to worship them. Nobody can ask them questions. No they are more tyrannical than even yes. some of our leaders that they abuse. Yes. Our leaders that they are abusing are more accessible than them. Mm. Uh, really not you know, the people who, who, who made money from pe other people's contributions became somebody, they became rich and became unaccessible to the ordinary member yes, of the church. The people whose, that money? Contributed. whose money? Oh, whose yes, so money? Yes, money made you who you are. The pastor will tell me that he's a businessman, that he has not made his money from his church. Who are you? This is business. How did you start? How did you? Some of them, we can tell their story. Now. Before you delve into that business, how did you start? We can tell their story and we know that it is a church, uh, this thing. Because they have the final say on the finances of, of the... Course, uh, of course. Some of, uh, of course. In fact, most of them can operate outside Nigeria. They will go to jail. Yes. yes. They will go to jail. Yes. You cannot. Because you can't run a church like a purely a family business whereby if you are if you die it's your wife that takes over. Mm. Where did that one come from? Is it biblical? You remember the man that even said to retire at seventy, the man was sounded out of town. Mm. The Easy is calling us from Bayelsa State. Thank you for joining us, Easy. 
Yeah, how are you? Baba Chide, good afternoon. How are you down there? I'm fine. I know. And the colleague there, the program is very interesting. Tell you they hear about pastor. You they hear you they... what uh, the governor of uh, Boy State did there. Uh, easy, easy. It's a very you they hear program. us now? Yeah. You they hear us? They talk about yeah, pastors. Very clear. Ah. Yeah, Why pastor go go they shave? Me. Why you go go they shave? Uh, women, women, private parts. It makes sense. Some of them, oh, the people of hell. Some of those pastors you see, they are called to altar by their stomach. Hmm. People. People who look at the situation and they are financially broke and they feel that it's the only way to go to the altar is to take their stomach to the altar. They begin to fight with people's mentality. Mm -hmm. Some of them are called to the altar from the pit of hell. Unfortunately, it's very sad. Yes. Because what we are throwing religion into, it has been politicized. Mm -hmm. I want to record that my... I'm from okay. a boy, look at what the governor in the short period from that state into. That same airport you are seeing there for 36 billion. Mm. A city of a building this state for over 75 billion. Mm. Yet you cannot see that kind of glory as you are seeing there. Yes. It's very funny. I like what they call pay review mechanism in governance. Governance should be set side by side. Because when you look at this development, it's what is very fundamental. Because I'm talking about taxpayers' money. The city is going so hard and they need this infrastructure for their comfort. Mm. You see, the good thing is. We are beginning to see how some states are beginning to use resources of the state, mm. build capacity, build infrastructure, and bring development to a level. Because we saw development, the citizens will be exposed, citizens will be enlightened. They will not be cajoled into all these fair issues. We are poverty for the dragging of the to church in this country. Because this is what the church will be a place to be able to concentrate the soul. When people go there, they begin to pray for charity. You go to some churches, they do offering of time. You begin to wonder why all this offering. You see one offering to one, not the other. But then when they look at it as a church, why make it venture? You so bad. And we need to regain our mindset out of it. Thank you, Izzy. Mm, is that's the situation mm. we found ourselves in. That's so, the that continent in Africa, that the church, what we are saying, you can re read up the story, mm. as a certain church in Kenya, and the pastor instructed his members to go on dry fast, and they fasted for days and days and days, and at the end of the day, 310 people. I'll be 311 people. Mm, so far. Mm. <laughs> they are so missing far. now. <laughs> they are missing. One more than three deaths. Mm. Fasted to death. Fasted to death. And the person who told them to fast, the hypocrite, the hypocrite who told them to fast, is still alive. He's still alive. Looking very healthy. Mm. His face was shining. He mm. should be put in a room and on the street. Ah, ah. Let's I'll, I'll, go I'll, through the same. Yeah, yes. let's put a streaming so, camera so, there. So, so, and then put time. Yes. Unless people start to bet how long it's going to solve. Because mm. we to be Jesus. Sounds. Our job is to facilitate the transaction. Somebody said he was doing uh, deliverance. And he told the woman to lie on the floor. He now laid on top of the woman. Mm. That's deliverance. <laughs> you are casting out demons <laughs> by tapping current. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only in this continent that this kind I'm, of thing. Yeah, we have to talk me. to ourselves. I don't want to mention the old me. time religion. <laughs> they used to sing when I was young, give me that old time religion. That's old what we want. Not pastors, uh, arrogant pastors standing in front of the church and believing that they own the church members. You don't own anybody. anybody. Mm. You don't own anyone. Mm. Religion is supposed to be therapeutic mm. now. You're supposed to go there and feel good. Saying if you bought this particular you are going to, you are going to be the one that will suffer. That I'm not going to suffer with you. Yeah, you is it not that money now? that is because he is you the voted custodian. The party now. He is the pastor. custodian. I will get mm. the point right. Mm. Is the custodian of their money. Mm. Yes. If he says he's not going to suffer, it's their money he that says, you, you know that I'm far, I'm far away from suffering from, from their money. I cannot suffer their money. Away. As if you work for your money. <laughs> their money. Hmm? <laughs> Dumb <laughs> people. They will listen to you, you just you stand in front that of That political party has won the election. Now. Yes, let us see. So All of the predictions so. that have not come to pass, I wonder maybe they will force some of those predictions to come to pass now. Mm. Mm. Then we are waiting for the 31st of uh, May 29th. We have yeah, been told that they will mm -hmm. come and uh, arrest him. They will come and arrest him. Military uh, will come uh, and arrest the president. Uh, on the, uh, and the uh, inauguration uh, grant. Uh, that one is in Kirikiri now. Yes. That one is in Kirikiri well, for two, two assaults. Yeah, yeah, you are enjoying the sexual food assault food. case. Wow. That one. You that you are not even, uh, you are not pure. Two, two. You went to go report you. You are posing as political. To Lagos State Government. They went to go and report you too. 
You know, two, two of your pastors that you were assaulting at your second base, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, land grabbing is a serious and pressing issue in Lagos and can have serious consequences for individuals and communities, including displacement, loss of livelihoods, and social and economic marginalization. The Center for Human and Social Economic Rights, CH. SR has called on the Lagos State government and relevant authorities to swiftly curb nefarious activities of land grabbers across the states while lamenting the state government's lack of action to curb the activities of the land grabbers. President of the group, Alex Omosh Shane, who made the appeal, said no, no, the activities have undermined the spirit and letter property protection law. GKB, yeah. land grabbers. Some people call them. Well, if, it's, if, it is, if it's getting out of. Mm. Uh, okay, if, okay. if it's getting out of sync now, there must be the personnel responsible. Because I remember that in the latter years of Fashola and the early time of Ambody, they had this legal state uh, anti land grabbing against mm -hmm. Sora and Alausa, headed by one, I've forgotten his name, but one of my names was his son. And they were very, because at that point in time, there was a lot of problems in the corridor access. And once you call them, they will come in and take over whatever they are doing. Yeah. So, and they, at that point in time, it was really working. But now I think that they've gone to the dogs, or the system has also mm -hmm. got into them. Because there's nothing as uh, lucrative as land grabbing. Because mm -hmm. you do minimum force and you make millions. Land is our oil in Lagos. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, because, it's, because of this, you will not lose. That's why you see somebody will grab 10, 15 acres and then look for validation with somebody in government mm. and pay. And that to me is the key. Is the Lagos State government now to determine by themselves whether they want to take it a step further. Because the laws are there. The infrastructure is there. Things that they need to mm. cope this are already in the system. There's yes. no need for a new law. Only a change, maybe change of personnel mm. or move people around. Because like, like you know, you get too comfortable in the particular post. You become part of the problem. Mm. And that's what they need to do quickly. Because I remember, because there was a time we had these challenges, and we, once you call that task force, they will be there under two hours. In fact, in some parts of Ikurudu, they picked up two or three traditional, two or three ballets mm. who are part and parcel of the gang that were grabbing land. I'm talking about the late 2007, 2008, or thereabouts. And I think the thing, in both of them, you don't see them now in front of musicians anymore. Hmm. Because they really dare to them. As um, GKB said, hmm. if they have the political will um, power, they can actually implement the laws on ground. And when they implement it and stop the nefarious activities of these guys, the, the law is there to <coughs> ensure that people do not get away with uh, grabbing other people's land. But from what I've read from some of the stories that um, we've had, these guys connive, these land grabbers connive with people Good. in the um, land registry mm. and procure fake, I mean, um, procure deed of assignment mm. on the same piece of land that had been legally acquired mm. from families, people they do deed of assignment yeah. and all that, you buy from a family, you perfected your paperwork, but they will now go through the back door and collect paperwork before proceeding to snatch, to grab that land. And a lot of these guys, they are very rich, they make money from other people's uh, tears. Mm. They call themselves a uh, and all that. Mm. That means you go to war to grab land. Mm. You know, Lagos, in Lagos, uh, the popular saying is that uh, land is our oil in Lagos. Mm. If you have um, a piece of land in a choice part of Lagos, it's, it's a lot of money um, mm. that you are going to make if, mm -hmm. if you decide to sell it yeah. or even uh, put it on lease. So, for that reason, and the population will live all the time. So these guys, 
even their areas of uh, influence are shrinking. Mm. So they are now um, they are they are now motivated to go and be snatching people's land, uh, um, uh, illegally occupy people's land and all that. So it is becoming a big problem here in Lagos. Okay, the I have Lukman. Lukman is calling us from Ghana. Thank you, Lukman. Good afternoon, Mr. Yo. Thank you Good for afternoon. joining us, Lukman. Good afternoon, Mr. Jude and Uncle Ganyo. Aquaba. Good job mm. you guys are doing over there. Mm. Please, I was calling to get in touch when you are on the, on the issue of uh, uh, mind, the mind. Yes. Please, uh, we need to go into details of Governor Dave Mind. Because when you go to guest management office, yes. you will see that this governor borrowed the least, the lowest loan, okay. domestic and foreign loan, hey boy. compared to all, most of the governors in Nigeria. And he has done so well. So how is he able to do it? And most of the states that they borrow so much money, like Benway, Bayesa, Uruabia, they could not do half of this. So please, I want you to do so much investigation because 70% of problems facing our people in Nigeria is at the state level. Hmm. And people are quick to question the federal government, to question the president. Hmm. Secondly, issue I want the anger to be investigated, to bring the marketers based on the subsidy. We must remove that subsidy because it's a big problem <laughs> for next governor. And I have to see that the marketers. They started talking about we are going to buy for someone that is a big lie. We are not talking about something yet, please. Well. Uh, look what yes, I don't have the opportunity. Use the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> use the opportunity. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> so the the law is there. Lagos has to apply its mm. laws. Um, it has to focus on uh, bringing to book um, people people like this who. Will be grabbing other people's land and sometimes they even kill people yeah, yeah of course you appear on your piece yeah. of land and they, they will have sent talks to to take your life so it's a very serious problem governor sanwolu uh, has been tasked to do something about it and i expect the governor to to so you just see military zone keep off he needs to sanitize <laughs> no what is even worse it's he needs to like, sanitize yeah. that uh, yeah it's really getting out of it. Yeah. But normally, what makes it worse is that the land grabbed today, this morning, mm. by tomorrow, the building is already on it. Mm. That's how fast they move. Yes. If you have a virgin land somewhere, and they grab it in the morning, by the time you report to the authorities, you get the police involved. You see a building already standing. The building is already standing. Mm. And you know what? They will now be telling you that they will give you another, give another one. land, further inland, that mm. this one is you gone. say, don't worry, we'll give you another so one. So it's, it's, it's a scam at the highest level. Because yes. like I said, I know some traditional rulers who are arrested, who stuck in trade, was poaching. It's not even vigilance anymore. Mm. They've been sold. They've been resold. So They've been resold. Again and again. Mm. And the man would come and say, the one you bought, your father bought it, mm. but you have not paid for it. In this so Lagos. How do you pay? How many times are you? It doesn't pay? matter. That it's is like now, double taxation. That is now his time. Mm. And they must pay. Mm. So the money less believe that they must eat whatever it is that they must make. No money. matter how small. Uh, so this, this will not stop unless no Lagos um, decides yeah. to. It's just like cultism. Yeah. Lagos decided to come up with a uh, with a much more stiffer yeah. law against yeah. courtism. In yeah. fact, even threatening punishment for parents. Mm. So this problem has to be addressed. And uh, the, the Lagos House of Assembly thinks that it makes sense to amend the law to specifically punish. Um, in, the, in a, a much more harsher manner. Maybe move to assess uh, trees. They should, they, they, mm. should, they should do it uh, quickly Pretty so that they can save the uh, lives of innocent people yeah. whose, uh, whose uh, property uh, get illegal. So they will, just, they will yeah. just bombard the area with, uh, with dogs. They have taken it from you. Hmm. Your, life is in Your life is in danger. There are people who have simply abandoned because they did not want to put their lives at risk. Mm -hmm. A property that they paid for, they just abandoned it. 
you know, just like that. You know, this is the height of cheating. Yeah, they need to reinforce the task force, whatever they need to call it. Mm -hmm. Let them make it bigger, let them put it in every zone in Lagos. And if there are bad eggs among those people, and because them. they are certainly bad eggs, of they course, need to be targeted and removed. Yeah. All right, we'll take this breather. When we come back, we'll talk more. It's still journalist hangout on Sunday. We'll be right back for the second half of the show. Information is power. Information is security. Information is knowledge. To believe that working people around the world have real questions of their own. They want to know how the world of work operates, what it means.